quality university education set us on a, a trajectory that has made a huge difference in our lives. We look back and think, gosh, if we hadn't been able to do that, how different our lives would be. We went to very ordinary state schools. They were great, but the critical thing in life was going to university. We were always expected to go, and obviously, you know, they supported us. So I did a five-year demanding degree, which really changed the course of my life. I think, golly, if I hadn't had access to that education, how different my life would be. Both of my parents, they've had a life of hard work and application. Nothing's ever been handed to them on a platter. Do what you can to make the world a better place and think about others. And I think that's very much family values that has come from grandparents, but obviously their parents, their grandparents, it's, it's come down. Yeah, it's family. Joseph is someone I wish I could have met. He was 16 when he was sentenced. We don't know a lot about his life before then, but he was, was from a poor family and was skilled in metalwork, but was caught with some stolen lead from a roof. And he was tried and sentenced at the age of 16 to uh, seven years of transportation. Look at them in the boat here. They look as though they've just been dragged through. Elena, she was a convict who arrived on the second fleet. Hers was an interesting story. Her father was a cobbler, but she was the eldest of six children. And her crime was theft of a cloak and a gown. And I can just imagine thinking she needs to keep her siblings warm at home and she's just taken them to help do that. They were given permission to marry early on by Governor Philip and they were given a grant just near the Hawkesbury region. It was very, very challenging indeed and they had the elements and all sorts of things against them. The entire land is tree covered and they've got to fell every single tree to get yeah. any sort well, of that's... paddock. I know, it, was, it, it really was tough, but seven children um, made it work. Oh, the qualities I see going through, it's staying power. Staying power, grit, steely determination, self-belief. But, you know, another thing that they had is that they had each other. So clearly strong bonds, Joseph and Eleanor, my parents, Graham and I, you can do a lot more, I think, if you have a, um, a strong, steady relationship. For Graham and me, it was a case of, we knew that if everything went wrong, we had our education. The thought of someone really wanting to learn and not being able to, and uh, it breaks your heart, really. I just, no, got to do something about that. I can even remember walking across a park when we were expecting our first baby and thinking if we're ever in a position to do anything, to have enough funds to be able to dedicate to an area where we could make a stamp or make a difference to people, it would be in the area of education. We realise that that's not possible for some people, some young Australians who show every inclination of wanting a great education but unfortunately don't have the means to get there. Well we have a motto which is newly minted with the help of the classics department at ANU and we sat down and chatted with Elizabeth Minchin, Professor Minchin, for some time about the things that were important to us and what we'd like to see in the halls and she and her colleagues came up with this motto, Tenacitas Comitas Gratia. And that sums it up very well. In my own words, when I heard that, I thought, yes, I interpret that as get on with it, get on with each other, and be grateful. And to me, that sums it up. You know, character is that what's ingrained by repetition, repetition. It's those things that stay with you for your whole life. And no matter what you do, uh, will stand you in good stead and help you to be the best you can be.